Hello, flatties and globe defenders. It's Critical Thing from Down Under. In this video, we're going to help Mr. Marble find the curve at the ocean. Now, Mr. Marble went down to the ocean and he couldn't find the curve. He didn't look very hard, though, did he? No, so we'll just help him out a little bit here. So let's take a quick look at uh, how D. Marble uses the scientific method to find curvature. Does anybody see any curvature? I'm doing a curvature check here. Anybody? Anybody? Did anybody see any curvature out here? No? And I'm out at the Pacific Ocean and I'm not finding any curvature. Another curvature check. Still looking for it. Still looking for it. There it is. There it is. Dave, you see any curvature? No? Hey there everybody! We're down at Alexandra Headlands on the beach and today, yes, we're looking for the curve. Uh, not like how Mr. Marble looks for the curve. No, we're just going to do it a little bit more thoroughly than that. It's going to be something different from, let's just say, Oh, we're supposed to see a curve here. Does anybody see a curve? I don't see a curve. Ah, oh, look! So if everybody told me, come down to the ocean and see a curve. Uh, well, I don't see any curve. Anybody? Anybody? Curve anywhere? Anybody? So, um, that's actually uh, how not to look for the curve. I mean, you, if you're going to look for a curve, um, hello, you need to look a little bit. Not just go, hmm, looks flat to me. That's how we all got started here in the first place, isn't it? So, first off, the uh, side to side, the horizon from side to side at this sea level is not going to show any curve. Now, that's a pretty interesting but not very well known fact from the point of view of your flatties. Now, um, I've got another video that demonstrates that. But if you're going, oh, look, Look there, see? I don't see any curve. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. As usual, of course you're not going to find it. It's not that obvious. But I expect you to make at least a effort. An effort, I should say. I expect you to make at least an effort. But no, well, today we're going to show you how to find the curve. And uh, there's a ship out there. You can't see it. It's anchored out there. You cannot see it in this picture. Well, I can't see it anyway. It, uh, it's very, very small. I'm going to get out my P900 and uh, we'll do this properly, won't we, Mr. Marble? A quick scout of the location. Yeah, Alexandra Hadlin. Um, I've been here before in one of my other videos. The there is a ship that's anchored, and we'll see that in a minute. It's out this way somewhere. I'm not going to plot the exact spot this time. It doesn't really matter this time. It, uh, my viewing spot is down here, so most of my pictures, I think, nearly all of my pictures in this segment come from down on the beach in this area here. And there's sometimes I go up the steps and up here and get some different heights. And if I need more height, I'll go up the hill a bit more. So I, as I say, I change the height on on um, where, where, whenever I can because that eliminates the variables of how much refraction and the height, tide height, and everything. Those variables are eliminated, and so the only thing that changes is observer height. Now the ship in this case is called the Gas Defiance. It's an LPG tanker and it's anchored offshore. It's offshore at um, it has here Sunshine Coast, latitude and longitude there if you want to plug it in to it's actually pretty much due east of where I am. If you want to plug it in to Google whatever you can. It says here it's approximately 6.74 nautical miles from where I am and almost due east. And it's at anchor. So that's 
That's the ship. Now we'll take a look at it. Here's the ship. What's that? Is that ship over the curve? Goodness gracious me. Man, that was just so difficult to find. Let's imagine what you can do if you actually look. So, let's have plates. So, clearly, um, that ship is over the curve. And there's another boat on the water. A bit closer. Zoom out to the beach. You can see... And zoom in. Isn't it funny how uh, you zoom in, the uh, ship doesn't actually reappear. Yes, yeah, strange about that. X and Y axis show that there is no curvature because we can zoom back in on boats. This is all simple stuff. So here's that LPG tanker. They're taken from a bit higher elevation. You can see the whole ship now. You can see the horizon is beyond uh, the bottom of the ship. There is a brown stripe at the bottom of the ship. And you couldn't see any of that bottom before. And I've just gone higher in height. Now here's another ship. You can see, now this is California Highway. You can see it's a vehicle carrier. A very odd shaped ship. Uh, and very tall. It, uh, you can see that... Um, there it can also go over the curve as well so there's another ship out there on this day and there we see curve again not that hard to find really and so here's this ship which is uh, making uh, its way around uh, the headland uh, near Caloundra at this point in time and uh, there's some people on the rocks there you can see from the, that there's another ship behind that one you cannot see right now and that's this ship here which is i think ym vancouver i think and it's a very long way away this ship there's the people on the on the rocks that we saw in the photo before now this ship can also go over the curve it looks like it's partly over the curve there already because the writing on the back of the ship is the water is up that high on the ship there but it doesn't really matter look how high the ship is <laughs> and um, go down lower in elevation and surprise surprise um, the curve is concealing some of the ship and uh, we go down lower still and when we get down to the beach you can only see that part of the ship the tops of the containers and the bridge so that's a fair bit of ship hidden by the curve there there's there's curve there and i'll just uh, play the videos of that ship now just so that people can see that I didn't Photoshop these images.
anybody see any curvature? Doing a curvature check here. Anybody? Anybody? Did anybody see any curvature out here? No? So there you have it. You know, with a P900 and um, a little bit of ingenuity, it's not so hard to find curvature. Though, so, Daryl, that's how you can do it. Maybe next time you can try a little bit harder. <laughs>